Hello and welcome to this. Uh, this is the second um, video in my series on in upper bound and lower bound. Now this, this time round, I've got a trick function involved, and it is certainly suited to uh, higher tier IGCSE and higher tier GCSE, and as and also for tenth grade maths. Now we're given a formula here t, which is time and it's equal to the width of a river divided by the, the rowing velocity times the, the cos, by, by times cos theta and theta is the angle subtended by a line drawn from one side of the river to a given point on the last side of the river and the direction of rowing from one side of the river to the other side of the river but you don't, you don't need to know, know that anyway Anyway, uh, the figures are that T is equal to 150.0 meters divided by 3.54 meters per second times cos theta, sorry, cos 30 degrees. Now, we are told that uh, the width of the river is measured correct to one decimal place. We are also told that the velocity measured is measured correct to 2 dp, two decimal places, and that theta, the angle, is measured correct to the nearest integer. And we're asked to find the upper bound for the time and the upper bound, so and the lower bound for the time, and we're asked to give the answer to 3SF. Now, if we say that W is the width of the river, if we um, assign W to the width of the river and uh, we then have that W is greater than or equal to 149.95 meters and it's less than 150.05 meters so in fact the the upper end will be this bit here and that and that's lower end so the upper end will be 150.05 and lower end will be 149.95 meters okay Similarly, the velocity is between uh, 3.535 meters at the very minimum, sorry, meters per second at the very minimum, and 3.545 meters per second at the very maximum there. Now, for the angle, if we, theta is between 29.5 degrees and 30.5 degrees because this angle here is given to the nearest integer there. So it's anything, more to, it's anything from 29.5 degrees to 30.5 degrees. But then, because we're dealing with uh, a cosine function there, we, we need to find which of these cosine values is actually the, the higher end and which is lower end. So the cosine of 29.5 degrees is 0 0.8703 and so on. And the cosine of 30.5 degrees is 0 0.8616 and so on. So now we want to find the upper bound value for the time. And we call that TU. Uh, that's going to be, and because we're dealing with fraction here, the numerator has to be the maximum value possible. And the maximum, the maximum value possible is 150.05. Uh, the denominator should be the minimum points, uh, sorry, the minimum values possible. And in this case, it's going to be 3.535 and cos 30.5 because cos 30.5 is less than cos 29.5. Yeah. And when we do our calculations, we end up with uh, 49.283 seconds for the upper bound time. And to 3SF, that then becomes 49.3 seconds and TU denotes the upper bound time. Similarly, for the, for the lower bound time, T sub L, for the numerator, we use the least possible value for the width, in this case, 149.95 meters, divided by the maximum values for the velocity, which is 3.545 meters per second, and the maximum value for cos theta, which is cos 
and we end up with 48.599 seconds for the lower, lower bound time and that is equal to uh, 48.6 seconds to 3SF and I hope all that made some sense uh, please please subscribe and thank you for watching bye bye now